Hello everyone, welcome to Lara Dave's. In today's video, we'll be looking into a package that is really, really helpful for us in order to format our code. And the package name is Laravel slash Pinked. Now it is already included by default in the Laravel. Whenever you install a new Laravel project, it is by default installed. But let's say you have an older version of Laravel and again you want to install it, then you can just watch this video tutorial. But for the new ones, it is already there. And also I'll show you an VS Code extension that will automatically use this and format our PSP files. So before that, let me show you that over here in the composer.json file and here in the PHP. So it requires PHP 8.0 or above. Okay. Now let me go here in the Laravel Paint and it is showing me how to use it. It is not showing me how to install it because from now on it is already present in the Laravel. And here also it is not showing us how to install it, but as we all know how to install it via Composer, so we'll do that. So let me do that. Composer require Laravel slash paint. And I'll hit enter. The Composer will now install the Laravel paint for us. The Laravel paint is successfully installed and it is very easy to run the command. So here, so if you just go over here in the Laravel documentation in this URL, then here is running the paint. We can just do this okay like this vendor bin and paint and it will automatically run the formatting for us if you currently look here in the source control this composer json file and log file is only modified there are no any other files that have been modified but if i run this code it is just like running php unit similar type of thing yeah so if you do that, then it will run it. And also when running paint, it will output all the list of the files that have been fixed. It is possible to see the changes made in the more detail using dash V. So I'll do here dash V also, and it will show me list of all the files that have been changed. So I'll hit enter. And now you can see here, it is showing me all the files that have been changed before and after everything, okay? But we can easily see that over here in the Git here in the source controller obviously so here if i just click here then it is showing me that it has formatted these things like this so let me just zoom out a little bit okay so here here, here wasn't a new line so it has added a new line and by default it uses laravel as a preset so if you just look here then we can have multiple presets here okay so by default it uses laravel preset but we can use psr tubel as a preset as well well, currently if i show you over here in the testing job then you can see here this use so it is in a single line in a laravel preset it is just like this but according to the psr tubel all the traits should be in their own line so let us use psr tubel as a preset so before that let me just add this and this and remove all the changes that have currently happened so i'll remove all the files and in order to change the preset, we have to create a pint.json file on the root. So here I'll say pint.json. I think it is pint.json. Yeah, it is pint.json. And here we'll say preset and we'll say here psr12, psr12 like this. Now, if I again run this, so let me not write this slash v over here. Okay, I'll just run vendor bin pint and hit enter then it will show me all the files that have been changed and it will not show me all those plus and minus thing okay like previously it had shown me this thing okay what are removed what are added we can easily see from the source control in the ps code it is really nice to see these things like this the only the file names okay so here now again let us go and check the same file that we checked earlier so the file name was this testing job and now we can see here everything is in their own line it is now formatted as a psr 2l but if you like the laravel style then you can just leave it as it is so let me just write this thing over here and let me remove all the files that have been changed like this and let me remove the preset also because i like the laravel way and also let's say you want to ignore some of the file folders that you want to change then you can just do it like this so i think there is exclude yeah there is this exclude directory exclude and you can pass array over here and i'll show you why it is auto completing for me i'll show you a package also okay this ps code extension that will auto complete all these things 
now let me again draw on this uh, vendor bin paint so that uh, i could just check which file to ignore okay so for now okay this app console kernel okay so i'll say here exclude and here i'll say app console so this this is the folder name that we need to write and if you just see here we should not end that with slash okay like this app and console so previously there was this kernel.php inside this so this thing was removed from here because it wasn't being used here if i show you that over here like this and there was this also comma added over here before these things were changed on this file but now if i again run this then it should not change anything on this file okay so let me just open this file for a while and let me just add it and remove all the files that were changed so you can see here nothing is changed on this file now but again if i run this thing then it should ignore this kernel and you can see here there is no kernel.php here this thing is ignored and all the other files are formatted i am just ignoring this excluding this folder for now but let's say if i want to ignore a file then we can do it like this so we can say here not path like this not path and we can also pass this over here let's say this api okay so this one it is changed and we only want to change this api then i'm saying app slash http slash api slash api dot php and now again let me open this thing so this and let me remove everything the file that has been changed and let me again run this vendor bin pint then after a while just let me refresh here then you can see here that api.php not present over here which means that nothing is changed on this file so in this way you can ignore either a folder or a file or you can ignore every file that ends with this like this you can just write here not name and do it like this okay you have seen everything like this and let me just okay go here in the pint and remove these things from here by the way let me just delete this file okay pint so that we don't need it let me remove all the files that have been changed one more time and now you don't need to run any command okay you can just use a vs code extension just go and in the vs code extension market source for pint and laravel pint this is the first one that you need to just install so this one by open southerners and it will also allow us to auto complete if you just see here pint json auto completion and validation this is also provided by this package so that it will be very very useful after you install this package then just go over here in this file and let's say you want to only format this file then just write here command shift p or control shift p and let's say format format document using laravel pint and now this file is automatically formatted if i show you over here then you can see here the same thing has been done over here okay but let's say if you want to format whole project then just do here format or just write here let's say pint control shift p or command shift p and write pint and you can see here format workspace files using pint just hit like this and you can see here it is running this vendor bin pint okay and if you just see over here that each and every php files have been formatted and it will also respect the pint.json file whatever things that you have ignored there then it will respect those and not format those so what do you think about this package guys i hope you like this package so i'll see you in the next one have a great day bye